A field of nine free-for-all trotters for the Arthur Cutler Memorial at the post, and here they come. And they're off. Pierce, an arm row rusher from the outside. Kicktail is trotting out quickly, and Fool's goal is protecting the inside position. Alan Jopa takes an early tuck in fourth. Magician gapped off the gate, and Brennan's going to try to sit early with him from fifth. Arm row rusher has now gone on a break. Party Party is gapped back in sixth. Seventh, as they move around the turn, is Glory's Comet, followed up by Super Toy, and Georgia Limited at the back of the pack trails the field. So Kicktail is on an unchallenged lead. The opening quarter in 27 and 2. In behind him is Fool's Goal. Alan Jopa, a handful of horse for Dubay. He's right on the helmet of Fool's Goal in third. And now Magician comes first over. He's off stride. Magician has gone on a break on the outside. Moving up now, first over is Glory's Combat for Campbell into fourth. Party Party racing in fifth. Armbro Rusher, a handful for Pierce. He's second over in sixth. Georgia Limited follows the outer flow. Super Toy is trapped in, and Magician is rank, refusing to set, still on a break as they reach the half in 58 and wide. Kicktail back things down there in that second quarter, and he's a length in front as they move on to the far turn. Glory's Comet trying to press him just off his wheel second. Fool's Goal has had a great trip. He's drafted along third, but he's going to need some racing room. Armbro Rusher is second over on the outside fourth, and Alan Jopa is pinned on the pylons. He's buried from fifth. Third over is Georgia Limited as they reach three quarters, 126 and four, and Kicktail sets sail for home, and he's opening up now. Kicktail under a hand drive is about four lengths clear. On the inside, Fool's Goal under heavy pressure second. Georgia Limited late trot on the outside. Fool's Goal has gone off stride, and it it is all Kicktail in the Cutler Memorial. Alan Jopa skims the cones towards second. Kicktail will do it under a hand drive. Gate to wire. Alan Jopa second. Glory's Comet third and one. 54 and one. Returning to the winner's circle is number five, Kicktail. He's a four-year-old Ridgling by Sierra Cosmos. Out of Victoria's Tale by Bonefish. Owned by the Gary's Arden Homestead Stable of Goshen, New York. Jan Janssen trains Burnt Lindstead in the sulky. Kicktail, one of the top three-year-olds from a year ago, making his second start of the year, and it's a winning effort, 154-1. A new lifetime record for Kicktail, who takes the $160,000 Arthur Cutler Memorial, honoring local restauranteer and longtime horse owner Arthur Cutler. In the winner's circle, Alice Cutler and Jeff Gorell to make the trophy presentation to the connections of Kicktail, the Arden Homestead Stable, trainer Jan Janssen, and one of the trotting masters, driver Bernd Lindstedt. Results have now been posted official. Number five, Kicktail, 640, 480, 360. Second was number two, Alan Jopa, 980, 520. And third, number six, Glory's Comet, paying 340. Exact accommodation of five and two, 8620. The 526 trifecta, 32580. And the pick three, $381.80. Up next, the seventh race, the third Meadowlands Pace Elimination. There are no changes, exacta trifecta, and pick three betting, no changes in this upcoming pick three, 17 minutes until post time for race seven. We saw last year Kicktail with a very, very good third in the Hamiltonian. He went to the World Trotting Derby, was excellent. And then uh, later on in the year, uh, he had a very solid season, over half a million dollars. But we haven't seen him in quite some time. You told me early on you might, uh, you thought about bringing him overseas for some four-year-old races over there so as not to face some of the older horses here. What was that decision? Yeah, he was a little tired uh, after, the, after the last year's three-year-old season. And uh, he needed a little rest. And 
He didn't was too sharp in the beginning of the year, but uh, now he, I think he's on his feet again. What's his schedule look like here? Will we be seeing more of him last month at the Badlands meet? I hope he's going to have a couple more races. Uh, perhaps later on we're going to send him overseas. Okay, and Comet's tail, his brother, he didn't look too bad either. No, he's good night too. Is that a Hambletonian horse? I hope so. Okay, Bert Lindstedt, good luck with Kicktail. Uh, tonight, by the way, 154 and 1, he got away. The, the, the wind in the back stretch slowed down the half, and uh, he just went, was off to the races from there. Yeah, it was this uh, very uh, bad headwind on the back stretch. I had to slow down a little bit there because I had to f fire him up from the beginning, 27 in the piece, the first quarter, so he had to relax a little bit. And after the wire, he looked like he wanted to keep going there. I don't think he knew that the mile was over. <laughs> well, he was good today, though. Thanks, Bernd. Congratulations. And we'll have a Winter Circle presentation here, and we'll be joined shortly by uh, Jeffrey Garral, a friend of Arthur Cutler. Here's the complete order of finish for the sixth race. Number one, Fool's Goal, finished fifth, but he was disqualified and placed ninth for a failure to lose sufficient ground while on a we break in the stretch. We uh, hundred or so of his friends are here tonight to honor him, and we're proud to present this race, and hopefully it'll continue to grow and uh, get even bigger next year. Is it just a coincidence that a class guy like Art Cutler, with the race is won by a class act like Bert Lindstedt? Well, uh, it's good to see Burt win a race like that, and I think it's good to see a four-year-old win a race like that. Uh, hopefully next year uh, we'll get more of the uh, three-year-olds to come back and race it for. I think that's something the public wants to see, and uh, I think the Meadowlands with the Million Dollar Breeders' Crown and some other changes that, that are planned, it may be uh, even more exciting next year. Thanks very much, Jeffrey Garol. We're getting ready now with 13 minutes to post for the third and